The deadly violence in our city has reached a breaking point for so many families. Already this year, we have seen 134 murders. That's dozens more than this time last year. Our city just approved $3 million to invest in prevention efforts. But tonight, we want to start our big story with the grassroots effort to combat crime from families who know firsthand the lasting impact violence can have. Behind the numbers and statistics are families left reeling, like the parents I spoke with tonight who never imagined they'd be speaking out on behalf of their son, who no longer can. Warriors for peace. Every time Steve and Cheryl Shockley hear about another shooting in the city of Indianapolis, they're taken back to a day last August when a phone call changed their lives forever. You know, you hear the words, we're looking for the next of kin of John Shockley. And when you hear the words next of kin, it's just like, you know, just knocks you over. Almost a year later, though, the Shockleys have regained their footing for moments like this one. My son, Jack Shockley, was murdered on August 12, 2020. He was sitting in his car, eating breakfast in the parking lot at McDonald's at 25th and Emerson. The Shockleys told Jack's story to the City County Council Monday, right before lawmakers approved a proposal to give more money to police and community programs in an effort to stave off a spike in violent crime in the city. Everyone has a part to play to end gun violence. And until everybody comes together, until everybody makes it their problem, um, you know, we're going to have a real hard time solving this. The Shockleys are trying to do their part. They've started a foundation called Warriors for Peace, which gives scholarships to students who want to promote peace while attending a Catholic high school. We can help save one life at a time. These grieving parents also believe the people pulling the trigger need help so they don't get to that point. They're victims in their own right. What shot have they had in life? And my son, Jack Shockley, would be the first one to say that. What shot? have they had in their life? Not much. And we need to care about them. Police say they arrested and charged a suspect for Jack Shockley's murder, but a key witness in the case died a few months later in an unrelated homicide. Court records indicate the charges were dropped. Still, police call it an active investigation. We have strong hopes that the prosecutor's office will come through for our family and refile charges. In the meantime. And I pray for the young man who killed my son every day. And always close to the Shockleys, carrying them forward, the words on this medal they found in Jack's belongings after he was killed. So it says, memento mori on one side, which means remember that you will die. And on the other side it says, memento vivere, which means remember to live. 